We're at Grygoch Dam in the Elan Valley and we're doing an ROV survey to do some digitally enhanced pictures of the, of the dam. So at the moment we don't know exactly what's under the water on the dam. We haven't got as-built drawings. So by doing this, we can see exactly what condition the dam is in and what's under the water. Crycock Dam is, is at the very head of the Elan network of dams. Collectively, the Elan dams supply just over 6 million people with drinking water. Um, it's critical, therefore, to make sure that the dams are safe and able to remain functional. But the primary purpose of doing these is to maintain them to the highest standards that we can. The company that have designed and built the advanced ROV are Abyss, who are an Australian company. They're working with Panta McLeod, who are a UK-based company that we work with on some of our reservoirs. What they have done is uh, they've built in-house their own robot and their own ROV. And this is what puts them a step ahead of anybody else at the moment in the marketplace. That ROV is capable of gaining a much greater image clarity, which is what is providing us with such useful information. This lens records high definitions. We record millions of images and we're able to stitch them together and also remove particles that are in it. So our clarity and our special imaging system uh, identifies particles in the water and realises that they are moving and our computer generation programming takes those particles out so it makes the water look like it's clear. So we can uh, then get a full description and a full observation of the underwater image. So we can go into treated sewerage. We're able to look at seams in outfalls if, and a lot of them have reeds in them. Because the reeds are moving, we can actually remove the reeds and the images that we produce looks like they've been ripped out. So the benefits of the work today is that we'll get imagery of what's under the water here on the dam and uh, be able to tell if there's any defects in the dam wall without sending divers down and we'll get ultra high definition imagery of the dam itself. 